coverage over the basketball. Hand coverage. So the way we get hand coverage is place the ball on top of your hand and your elbow will be attached to your outside hip. Elbow attached to your outside hip. Arm straight, not out to the side. Arm straight in front. Transition from waist height to shooting position. Waist height, shooting position. Waist height, shooting position. Let's go through that. Hand coverage, hand coverage. To be attached to your hip. So we go from here to there. Your elbow in. Your elbow in. And then back down. And then transition up. Keep your elbow in. And back down. So just work there. 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 Good. Good. So that's the first one. That's called hand coverage and body alignment. So what we have is our ankle, knee, hip, and elbow all aligned. Transitioning to our shooting position. The second one is spinning the seams, rotating the seams. So the basketball has these black things on it. Those are what we call seams, okay? Your job as a shooter is to rotate the seams. And we want those seams to be rotated straight and fast. Straight and fast. So watch me, we here. Hand coverage, body alignment, shooting position, and then go straight up and rotate the seams fast and straight. And then repeat, hand coverage, shooting position, rotate the seams. Let's go. I rotate the seat. Uh, well, first of all, your elbow's out here, man. Come on. Get, get there. Good. Now go shoot. Okay, now your elbow has to be here. All right. Seam, fast and straight. Rotate the seam, fast and straight. Fingertip release. Index finger, middle finger, combination of both, and then follow the ball. Flick your wrist. So I want you to start hand placement, shooting position, rotate the sleeves, fingertip release. Ready, let's go. Every time, one hand only, one hand only. Fingertips down, fingertips straight down to the rim. Great job, good job, good job. Rotate the seams. Let me see you rotate the seams. That's better. See if you can get it faster. Chris needs to be going towards the ball. So have him going straight. That's perfect. Excellent. Okay. Again, same. Nice and hot. Hold it. Perfect. That's the rotation we want. That's the spin we want. Fourth one is developing an arc. Okay? So this gives your, your shot some height. Ball's here. So what we're going to do now, as soon as we get into hand placement, I want us to bend our knees. Okay? So hand placement, knees are bent. Hand placement, knees are bent. And then we're going to go up into our shooting position. And from there, we're going to start our shot. As you start your shot, we're going to keep the ball in our hand until the crease of our elbow is above our eye line. So the ball will remain in your hand until the crease of your elbow reaches your eye line. And then you're into your fingertip release. Bend, bend the blow, man. Get low, get low. Good. Hey, that's a great shot, man. That's a great shot. Wish I had that one there. Straight, not straight. That's good. Try it again. Perfect. Excellent. Great shot there, man. Hold your hold those fingers down. Okay, so we're just now we're well away from the body with that. So we have our elbow attached to our hip. And then we 
just get into our shooting position. Now you see where my elbow is, okay? Okay, and then we're just going straight into our shot. Excellent. Come on, let's go. Here we go, right here. Here we go. No, why are you walking this? Okay, we're here. All right, and then we go to our shooting position. And then we're going up. So smoothness, man. Basketball is about smoothness. Oh, that, oh my god, oh my god. I wish I could erase that from my memory banks. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the fifth one, and this is probably one of the most important ones for you, is the guide hand. Okay, the guide hand. Let me see your ball. So, this is the other hand. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start knees bent, hand coverage, you're going up to your shooting position. As soon as you get to the height of your shooting position, you're going to bring the other hand into action, into play. Now, when that hand comes up, I want your fingertips and your thumb off away from the basketball, OK? And then from there, you're going into your fingertip release. You're going to get the crease of your elbow above your eye line, and you're going to have great follow through. That's a good shot there, man. Good shot. Your left, keep that other hand off, and you're just going straight up and back down. Here we go, let's try it. Bring it up, perfect, perfect, excellent, okay? No, and that left, that guide hand has no impact on your shot. No influence. So if that guy had the basketball, the foot that's furthest away from the basketball is what we call our anchor foot. Let me hear you say that. Anchor foot. That foot stays on the floor. The foot furthest away from the basketball is called our anchor foot, baseline foot. That stays on the floor. Every time you're in this position, we want you in this stride, staggered stance, okay? So, the ball is coming in here. As he passes the ball, we're swinging that foot in into our shooting position, OK? It's important when you take that step in that you don't over-rotate and get yourself off balance. So when you bring this foot in, you're bringing it in to slightly in front of the anchor foot or right at the arch of the anchor foot. Hands here, comes in, straight in, and then I'm straight back into our shooting technique, what we just worked on. You got that? Let's go, anchor foot. Hands towards him. So this is what we call hungry hands. Fingers are up, ready to receive the basketball. Greedy eyes. It means I'm open right now. Pass me the ball. Let's see, hungry hands, greedy eyes. You're not greedy enough, man. Let me see greedy eyes here. There we go. I'll take that. Yes. There we go. All right. Hey, are you hungry? Where's the ball going to come from here? All right. Hungry hands, greedy. What about you? The ball's going to come from there. Okay? So. The way it works is you will make a pass to him, and then you're going to sprint and fill in that spot, OK? You're going to make a pass to him. You're going to sprint and fill in that next scene. You're going to pass to him, and then you're going to sprint, and you're the next shooter. So you need an anchor foot and a staggered stance, OK? And then we keep going that way. After you shoot, get your rebound, and you're in the back of this line here. Let's see how we go. Get there, get there, get there. Hungry hands, hungry hands, go, go, go. Hungry hands, hungry hands. Hungry hands. Hungry hands. Hungry hands. Look at your footwork, your footwork. Where's our stance? Get out of here. Hey, footwork. What foot stays on the floor? Okay, it's our anchor foot. Straight away, we're like, 
country line dancing down here. Where's the music? Okay, where's the music? As soon as you make that pass, you sprint to the baseline, establish anchor foot, and then you're next, ready to shoot. Ready. Get out there, get out there, quick, quick, quick. Let's go, let's go. Hungry hands, hungry hands. Hungry hands, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hungry hands, hungry hands, footwork, footwork. Hungry hands, footwork, footwork. Good job, hungry hands. Let's go, let's go.